Hello, my name's Chris for First Light Optics and in today's video we're going to be talking power supplies for your telescope's mount. Now, some mounts actually come with a battery compartment built in where you can put in AA batteries to run your mount. So if you've got one like that, you may be thinking, I don't need anything else, that's, that's absolutely fine. However, they can be a bit problematic because they simply don't hold the voltage and you do need a specified voltage with mounts for them to function properly. I've witnessed mounts slurring erratically because they've been undervolted. And things that can cause undervolting is the batteries not being fully topped up, long cables, cold weather especially. So all these things happen in astronomy. So what we recommend is a regulated supply. Um, an example of a regulated supply you could use at home, a main supply would be the Lynx Astro 12 volt 5 amp. And that's good enough to run most mounts out there as well as probably one other accessory. It's got a 2.1 cent positive jack which fits a lot of mounts but then again there are a few mounts out there with different sockets so if you're unsure what socket's on your mount just drop us an email at questions at firstlightoptics.com and we'll do our best to make sure you get what you need. If you've got lots of accessories running you may need a bit more power in which case I'd recommend something like the Nevada 30 amp PSU but both these are examples of things that you can plug in at home and run either your mount plus one accessory or multiple accessories and not worry about the power running out. Now, what do you do if you're away from home and you're in a field somewhere, lovely dark skies, but there's not a power outlet in sight. In that situation, you would use a power tank, which is a large battery that's regulated with lots of useful ports on it. Traditionally, these would be lead acid, but we've kind of moved away from lead acid because they are a little bit problematic in terms of the chemicals used and their longevity. Luckily enough, nowadays we have better batteries, um, namely lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are lighter, smaller, safer, more environmentally friendly, and they also last a lot longer. For example, a lithium iron phosphate battery would, is rated to 2000 charge cycles, whereas a traditional lead acid battery would be rated for around 300. So uh, they last a lot longer as well. Two that we stock are the Celestron 7.2 amp hour and the Celestron 13.2 amp hour. And um, you may be wondering what the amp hour significance is and what, how you tell which is right for you. An example would be if your mount draws one amp, the 7.2 amp hour would last 7.2 hours. And you may have guessed it, the 13.2 amp hour supply would last 13.2 amp hours. Another example would be if your mount draws two amps and you've got lots of extras that draw um, 5.2 amps, that's a total of 7.2 amps. Therefore, the 7.2 amp hour supply would last just a single hour and we probably wouldn't recommend that for you. You'd probably want at least the 13.2, if not more. So that's how you kind of work out what kind of power supply you need. Um, but if you're unsure, contact us at questions at firstlightoptics.com and we'll just make sure you've got everything you need. And, and that's pretty much it for power supplies. In, in a nutshell at least, you could go deeper into it, but I think that's probably enough to scratch the surface, enough that if you've got any questions, you know where to contact us now. And if you enjoyed that video, consider giving us a thumbs up, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And until next time, clear skies eventually.